we believe that all the six goals of EFA are synergized together. ECCE, primary education, education quality, life skills, gender parity, and literacy education. Chinese government prefers to push all these six goals progress forward simultaneously. Today, this meeting is focused on women's literacy. We, we believe women's literacy really matters. So you know to empower women, we need to think about their quality, their living status, their participation in politics and decision making, and their life skills. You know to stop the emergence of new illiterates. Basic education in China is listed as compulsory. Nine year free compulsory education has been realized. Through hard endeavors, China has made great achievements in basic education. For example, almost 100% of school age children nationwide get to school and to re receive the f nine, nine year compulsory education. Even the textbooks are free, provided. And from this year on, we will also provide free meal. So the feeding, school feeding program is on the way. Gender parity is realized nationwide as well. So I should say China has realized most of the goals set both in the World EFA framework and in the UN MDGs four years in advance. But within the six goals, adult literacy is the least I want to be happy because we still have a lot of job to do. Basic education is the field I always feel proud of. In the remote areas, in all the rural areas, the best buildings are school buildings. Before, st students attend the school with the poor infrastructure. Right now, they have beautiful buildings, dormitories, and dining rooms. Students have computers, and they have new desks, new beds for, their, for the boarding schools. So basic education is a precondition for stopping the new illiterates. But speaking of the literacy education for women, we have the following practices. First, we carry out strong commitment of government. The Chinese State Council has issued regulations for literacy education, and government at various levels have brought this job into economic and social development plan and made it as one of the government's preference goals. And there is also accountability system. These are the policies and strategies we made during the past years about authorization, about education, equity, about supervision and evaluation, about curriculum and the material. The last one is the guidance for literacy education, curriculum design, and compilation of teaching materials, which just adopted several months ago. Second, the close cooperation among different government and civic departments. Ministry of Education and the authorization of the State Council established the National Coordinating Group of Literacy, members of which are from education, media, culture, broadcast, television, agriculture, forestry, the Commission of Nationality, the Youth League, the Women's Federation, 
science and, te and technology association, as well as other stakeholders. The coordinating group exchange opinions, study in the problems, and take cooperating actions regularly. Thirdly, we carried out literacy and post-literacy programs. By implementing literacy education and popularizing compulsory education together, the Ministry of Education requires that local primary schools should be responsible to provide literacy education to all the illiterate uh, teenagers in their area under the age of 15. Regular schools and adult schools in rural areas must take active part in literacy education. They must strive to provide literacy education to every village and every villager. Meanwhile, they must go on to provide continuous education after literacy. Fourthly, addressing learning needs of rural women. Combining literacy education closely with adult learners' working activities and actual lives, the content of courses should not merely include cultural knowledge such as reading, writing, and arithmetic, but also to include citizen education, career skill education, common living knowledge, and health education. Women's literacy also includes maternity and child hygiene, home education, such as managing affairs and home financing, etc. The contents of literacy education in the areas of minority inhibited areas, for example, folk, customs, traditional culture are also involved. Characters of minorities are used when necessary. Fifth, flexible teaching forms are adopted. Because of imbalanced uh, social economic development in the large country, flexible teaching forms are adopted. For example, centralized literacy class is held in centralized resident area, while Neighborhood study groups are organized in sparsely populated areas. The grade teachers or primary school higher grade pupils even provide literate education on the spot in remote areas. And ICT and TV programs are also broadcast live to the learners. Sixthly, guidance and textbooks development is uh, in the process. The Ministry of Education had made literate education uh, standards, kind of a syllabus, and a, and a rural adult elementary education syllabus. Considering the fact that women take the great percentage of illiteracy, uh, nowadays it takes 74% of the total illiterates. Chinese Excellen government- Excellency. You yeah. have two minutes more. Thank you. It's specially organized experts to write more than 100 kinds of women literacy materials. So far, the Ministry of Education is editing four books for women literacy. And these four books will be uh, published early next year and will be dis distributed freely for the adult learners. And seventh, there's resource mobilization. Uh, first of all, for, for the budget from government with the MOE reward, NGO participation, community learning centers, training of literacy personnel, pilot provinces, UNESCO technical support. For example, life, life uh, program is carried out. Through various endeavors by the year 2000, the literacy rate of all adults over the, uh, the age of 15 rose to 91.3, and literacy rate of young and middle-aged adults between the age 15 and 50 rose to more than 95. So these are the uh, achievements uh, because of time limitation. I just want to show you on the slides. This chart uh, shows the, the number of liter, uh, illiterates, and this chart shows 
gen death parity. And in these uh, two main uh, site uh, areas, China has uh, did a great job, but still uh, remains a lot of space to, to do. Literacy empowers women and all people. Women's literacy is a process of social advancement, economic growth, and cultural development, as well as improvement of life quality. China still strive to conduct effective and sustainable measures for women literacy. Thank you.